Hey, duplex owners. Man, have I got a hat for y'all today. Uh, you got to love it, man. This is one of the best things I've done uh, for my tent. And uh, it's going to be something dirt simple. It's going to be cheap. And it's going to be really fast. So let's take a look real quick. Now, everybody likes having a nice taut pitch on your tent, right? Uh, keeps all the wrinkles out. Keeps it from flapping around. Sheds rain really good. And on the duplex, uh, on the outside of your vestibule, you can see where you've got a toggle right here. You duplex owners know what I'm talking about. And then down here, you have this clip with two D-rings. <sighs> I got to go outside. I got to get out there quick. But I've got to get out here and try to, try to undo this toggle. And my hands are cold. Rain's pouring in right here, doggone it. Dead gum if that thing's tight. It's not as easy from in here when you're cold. I just bought the smallest roll of one inch wide hook and loop tape that I could find. And this just happens to be the 3M Scotch Mate. And we're going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut us a few pieces off about an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. It doesn't have to be exact. Cut the corners off slightly just to give them a little bit of a bevel there so nothing snags. And we're going to do three of these. All of us that own duplex tents, we do it mostly for the weight savings, don't we? So let's take these three pieces of hook and loop tape. We'll put them on the scale. That's pretty sticky because I peeled the back off so we can get us an accurate measurement. And let's see what we got. All right, right there we have three grams. What I'm going to do is take those three pieces of Velcro and I'm going to attach them between the two flaps of my vestibule. And uh, it's not going to be precise or exact. I'm just going to place them the way I want to. But one thing you do need to do is be sure your toggle is fastened. Because during a really severe storm with high winds, you're going to want to use your toggle anyway. But you can see using that toggle, it doesn't follow a straight line. So we're going to peel the backing off. And we're going to place a couple of these about one inch from the end. Now, I actually did this last week, and I've already tested it in a thunderstorm, and it worked out pretty good. So this is the other side of the tent, and I only did one side. So you can see we've got Velcro here, we've got Velcro here, and then just below the toggle, we've got Velcro here. Okay, it's in the middle of the night. you got to go out and do your business. Your hands are cold. You know that toggle is going to be tight. It's going to be hard to fiddle with, or it's just raining. You don't want to be standing there any longer than you have to. Let's get out of here with this Velcro system. Now, let me tell you what I did do in case you want to try this. After I put my Velcro strips in, uh, I let it sit for uh, a good 24 hours or so or a day, uh, letting that adhesive really get in there and cure good. And then, uh, as I said earlier, I've already spent one night in it during a thunderstorm with about 20 mile an hour winds, uh, nothing real significant. But anyway, I had zero problems with it whatsoever. And you can see how simple that is to get out now. This winter time, uh, we're in spring, but uh, on those really cold nights down in the 20s, I'm gonna like this. Hey, I appreciate y'all stopping by and watching. And uh, if you try it, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. And uh, in the meantime, I hope y'all are all safe uh, during the pandemic we're going through now in 2020. But get out whenever you can because the best thing for your inside is outside. We'll see you later.